Hello there lovely people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Wishing everybody Eid Mubarak and happy holidays. I actually sort of missed out on a couple of days, uh, not been well. Um, really again, felt, felt sick during um, like that tragic time of the family and all that. So I've been trying to recover, but it, it was like, you know, very tough. So I'm taking medication, all that. So you can hear from my voice is not really good. Uh, after two days, I finally could get up from the bed and, you know, feeling a little bit better. Um, still got the cold and all, but my nose opened after two days. I couldn't breathe. So uh, I have a couple of videos for you because I don't want to miss out on too many days. I think uh, I'll rest it out again today. I couldn't go out anywhere for the Eid day. Hopefully you guys had a good Eid and holiday, okay? So a lot of nice things happen in the meantime, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes when I do morning thoughts, I'll share. But I would like to talk about two arm of fragrances today. And I'm not facing the camera because I look kind of terrible. My face is puffy and all that. I look a little bit pale. Thank you, everybody, for your kind messages and, you know, thoughts. Uh, hopefully, I'll get better in time. So, I would, out of these two fragrances, I'll tell you one thing. Both are arm up, but this fragrance, particular Tag Him, I reviewed it a few years back when I had it first, but then I sold it off. I reviewed quite a lot of arm off perfumes back in the days, old days, uh, whatever was available in Bangladesh. I sort of uh, bought them and reviewed them. But I want to re-review this, like can think of it like a re-review or a final review sort of a thing. And the left side, it's uh, Arm of Aura. I never really reviewed this. I wanted to. I finally got it for Eid and I'm going to talk about it. So time here right now is 7.30ish. Okay. And uh, it's kind of cloudy and overcast condition. Uh, hopefully it will rain a little bit and then the heat will go down. So let's start. Arm of, you guys know, uh, when I started off my channel, those who follow me for a very long time, you know, six, seven years, I have been a big fan of Armov. I was a, not an ambassador or anything. I was just like reviewed a lot of Armov because Armov was really hyped at that time, you know. Nowadays, their releases are there, but uh, it's mostly on the Club de Nuit line. There are other competitors like uh, Middle Eastern Houses, Alhamra, Mason Alhamra, Latafa. They are doing a lot more fragrances nowadays, okay. So uh, never mind, it's okay. But Armov has, has given us a lot of fragrance in the past. So Armov tag him. Let's start with this fragrance. Why I decided to do this again? I know. I mean, some of you believe this is so old. We know about this, but there's a reason. Okay, this is a re review because this was my good old times when I started collecting, buying fragrance. I was so excited back in the days. I'm still excited to buy perfumes, but I nowadays do a lot of research. You know, I have a much more uh, how to say match your head on my shoulder. But back in the days, you know, the craze. You know, when you start running go to shop, go from shop to shop, you know, you walk, you know, the distance to get fragrances just to create that content, the excitement. This is one of the reasons why I got tagged in because this reminds me of those days, early days. I don't remember exactly which year I did it, but it was quite some time back. And the thing is, recently I was looking at this, you know, and one of the shops had it. I'm like, hmm, I kind of miss that even though the bottle is kind of ugly and all that. <laughs> and then I went to Fragrantica just to see if, you know, people, what people wrote about it. One particular comment or a review uh, really got me and I got it for especially that reason. One of the guys said, you know, recently my father passed away or something and uh, a few months back and then this was in one of his collection in the washroom. And, you know, he has a few fragrances in his collection, but he was just like taking them out, you know, cleaning them. And then he started using it. And then suddenly he put this one one day, tag him, and he reminded him of his father and how great he smelled. Uh, that's like it shows human beings you know we are real human beings we are not robots or anything so the emotions definitely you know some has something to do with fragrances so i decided why not have the fragrance you know it, it is it's a good fragrance you know i really like the way it smells and this is a clone of blood chanel so we'll talk about this final review but i'm i have the boxes so let me show you so tag him they also have tag her and then they have some of the darker ones i review quite a few the gold one men women so this is how that looks edp concentration 100 ml and it says arm off <coughs> sorry back in the back of the box it says uh, it shows the bo bottle picture and all that uh, at the bottom this says starling perfumes and i think this the batch of this is uh, 2022 and up to 2027 back in the days these fragrances used to be made in U uae right you were at arab emirates so uh, many people will say hey uh, the france ones are not so good they are lighter uh, we'll, we'll get to that. I'll tell you what I think of it. My previous bottle, I think, was made in UAE. So this bottle, it's not one of the most uh, inspiring bottles from Arma back in the days. And some people, when they looked at it, they obviously avoided it because uh, this is not to their taste. Most of the people will say this is very tacky. This comes with Armov cap, 
uh, cap of armor with the magnetic cap but that magnet is not strong enough a very very light cap and it says uh, it's plastic with the chrome finish and all that it has a tag you can take it out uh, the bottle is glass I, they have this water effect on the bottle side this is all plastic okay and i'll tell you one difference back in the days and nowadays the new armor sprayers have the detailing okay here it says armor and the sprayers are much better back in the days the sprayers used to be kind of not that good this is also not that great but does its job so let me uh, i think the this doc tag whatever they did reminds me of army uh, you know like a thing armies army officials they used to wear they do wear tags like that so i'm not wearing anything i can smell a little bit nowadays like two days i completely couldn't smell anything let's spray okay small small sprayer i have nothing against the sprayer sprayer, sprayer works okay and uh, let me tell you first of all this was on the first very first blood chanel clone and i did have blood chanel at that time but you know some people would say blood chanel is way too expensive to throw casually nowadays blood chanel cost about 150 to 200 dollars give or take okay so people know that there are a lot of alternatives nowadays you know i did talk about a few and uh arma club in the iconic man and then i think shogun's shogun sorry by uh luxodor are two of the best okay there are some other other options but this one i'm not going to compare to those okay there's arm of shades blue so arm of made at least four to five if i'm not mistaken blood and clone this was one of the first ones one guy said <laughs> i'm sorry i'm going to tell a little bit of story he said arm of people whoever there is uh, whoever there is on the management really really brilliant because he sort of like made the same use and put it in five different bottle called it you know in the different names uh, blood channel clone and people keep buying it apparently right so they do sell a lot this is one of the top sellers like many of the other ones like craze and then city name and then the arm of niche you know those lines so this one sold a lot and used to be back in the days 22 dollars or sometimes 17 dollars i remember nowadays it's around 30 dollars like 27 to 30 dollars give or take with the inflation so still affordable but that 17 22 dollars price tag were much better so this one definitely smells really really nice longevity first of all it's okay four to five hours you're looking at but the modern ones you know i'll tell you the people they say they are the same they are not the same juice they definitely did some tweaking here and there and then made it much more like pleasant like arm of shades blue definitely lasts a long time and that is one of the best additional clones i had it somewhere here i don't know where i kept it but that thing lasts longer than this but i will tell you okay here i found it okay just even though this is a comparison video i'll show you this one was also one of my earlier days fragrances okay so shades blue lasts longer than this okay but the opening of this stuff as this is the first fragrance which was out is a little bit synthetic you know but there was this body spray which is much more smoother than this doesn't last as much but very pleasant i'll tell you just after five to ten minutes this fragrance starts smelling really nice masculine it's it got that I would say a freshness, the blue shower gel vibe definitely smells a lot like Blood Chanel, very close to Blood Chanel, definitely very close. In terms of smell, I would rate it somewhere like nine, you know, eight to nine. Um, presentation, you guys know my thoughts on that. It's kind of uh, not just ugly, it's uh, ugly with an F. But, you know, back in the days, you, so you have to remember what we used to have. Armov used to have this horrible sprayer, so they used to leak, and they had this uh, faulty caps, broken, this and that. So they came a long way and then this is better. I think this is still in production. So this is sort of like a memory in a bottle. If you actually went through this time, I think you can collect it and keep it in your collection. You know, just rotate it, you know, and it's not super expensive. You can just wear it casually. You can go to gym if you do some, want to do some garage work or you can go to 7-Eleven or you just want to, you know, I don't know, a big gulp or something, you want to get something like the ice cream. You can wear this fragrance on summer. Uh, daytime nighttime anytime is appropriate it smells quite good and i'll tell you this if you wear this for work it will not cover the whole day's work but if you respray with an atomizer or something in the middle of the day it will carry on and go until six five to six so i would say still a pretty solid fragrance it's a memory in a bottle it's not a must-have anymore like technium is not a must-have anymore because you have fragrances like shades blue arm of iconic few of the other ones and those are really really good shogun special is the closest right now to blood chanel but this is memory in a bottle you can still look at it if you just want a little bit different than what's uh, you know uh, available in the market so tag him uh, overall score i'm going to give it for memory sake eight out of ten um so next one is the new fragrance not new fragrance like new on my channel this is a like a old release this has been released like long time back and it sort of replicates this fragrance called 
Invictus. So we'll talk about Invictus as well. Let's keep it there. <coughs> I'm sorry. I have the phlegm thing and then my nose still halfway blocked. So I actually reviewed Aura Fresh, which was a clone of Versace Menu Fresh. At the back, you can see the cap. And uh, there are a few flankers to this line. I think two to three. I'm not sure. But this is the original Aura. And this one, it's quite interesting because it's not exactly like uh, Invictus. It has some similarity, but it has own smell as well. It has a lot of fan following. And this is how that box looks. It has this brown, white, and silver three-tone color. It looks unique. And they used to have this other fragrance called LCLO, which is similar to Invictus. It's distributed Starling Perfumes and, uh, you know, Armaf. All this detailing, if you... These, I think, are not going to be faked a lot because I haven't seen any fakes of Armaf in Bangladesh. This is, says it's EDP concentration, but I think this is more like EDP. Yeah, sorry, EDT. This is how that bottle looks. I think the bottle looks really nice with the brown color glass. Here's this glass. This is cheap plastic. This one has a suede effect, but these are all plastic, okay? It says Armaf at the side. From this side, it looks sort of like Pakuraman Ultraviolet Man, which sprays from the side. Uh, not a bad looking bottle, but they definitely have better bottles than this. So the cap is magnet, but the bottle is heavier compared to the cap. So the magnet is not very, very strong. If you see, if you want to pick it up, it comes up very easily. So always pick it up by the bottle. And then it also has the arm of uh, atomizer. These are the new atomizer made in France. So it has good detailing. Nice looking bottle. And the price tag on these also same as tagging this used to be i think 22 to 25 bucks now it's more like 30 dollars okay so let's show you the sprayer the sprayer works all right not bad at all okay let's just go one spray and then let's show you okay, it shows small small it shoots small small sprays no problem so first of all as i told you this perfume it's a clone of invictus and it does have a lot of similarity to it and also have some differences okay so uh, the edp Okay, let's tackle that. They always write like, uh, you know, EDP, EDT. But usually what I really find with Armov perfumes, they are on most part uh, like EDT concentration. So this is not going to be eight hours, 10 hours, unless you live in a very uh, pleasant condition. And this one on me was like typical, like four to five, uh, let's say four hours. Okay. So in Bangladesh condition, the weather is a very, very extreme. So in your country, you may get five, you know, or six, if, depending on how many sprays you go. For tag him, I would go uh, maybe five to six. And this one, I would go like four to five. Okay, so that will be good for that day, and it is not going to be a whole day. Okay, four hours to five. Um, the thing is, uh, what do I get from it? It's a sweet fragrance. Okay, it's a sweet, fresh fragrance. I think got lavender hint of freshness, like a bay leaf sort of a note, which Invictus also has. Uh, people would compare this to Rasa's Hawas, but I'll tell you right up front: if you have the budget to take Hawas, take it. This is a way superior fragrance too. Aura, okay. So they already released so many Invictus uh, inspired perfume like Savage and Bleu Chanel. Armov usually make uh, clones. So this is for the time this was released. This is a pretty good release back in the day, and people said, people said like this uh, for the price was very very good. I would say the fragrance is very pleasant. It's like a this is fragrance from is it Latafa? I forgot the name. Uh, the tall bottle, you know, it's very very popular. Anyway, so that's a good clone of Invictus but this fragrance offers a little bit different it doesn't have that intense bubblegum sweetness that Invictus gives me Invictus can be very very intense okay very intense this one lasts double the time of Aura but this one it's more lighter take on Invictus and a little bit I would say less aquatic more sweet fruity okay so you'll pick up compliments from it it has a little bit of a thin feeling you know like thin feeling less up top it doesn't feel very strong like uh, you know the opening spray it's not so strong like it will disturb others or bother others i would say it's a pretty um, nice uh, fragrance if you do not like your fragrance is very strong the projection is about 45 minutes uh, after that it you know if there's a fan or ac blowing people will smell you but it's a very casual very nice fragrance for you know uh, like a normal occasion going out i would not put this on office work i would not put this on a very formal or very special day these two fragrances are good for casual, okay, very casual. Uh, I would not wear these with suit and tie, okay. Uh, suit and tie affairs, a little bit more formal would be better, like Bloody Chanel would be better. So Aura, uh, it's going to be a good fragrance for youngsters, school, college course, people just started collecting. You don't want to spend so much money on a cologne. This is still a very good pickup, very good pickup. And I don't think if you get this for 22 to 25 bucks, you'll be very upset with what you got. But... Given the price of Hawass right now, Hawass is hitting like 50 something dollars in Bangladesh. 
and overseas i think it's around 65 45 like those price range like 65 55 dollars cheapest so compared to those this is way affordable but always remember how us offers you more performance eight eight hours plus this one four hours to have four and a half hours okay so overall both are solid fragrances okay for the budget there's no doubt about it that these are good fragrances perhaps not as relatable like like the other new clones but when they are released these two are really really good and i still feel these are very decent buys you know if you can get them for 20 something bucks i mean that's that's a bargain right there okay out of the two this is a nicer bottle i hate this bottle design but i like the way both of them smell so this one i gave eight aura i'll give it 7.5 so thank you so much for watching hopefully i could uh, do some justice to these fragrances i have one more episode hopefully you'll bear with me and my uh, uh, voice which is kind of broken uh, just miss doing reviews have a nice day take care and take care of your health i'll talk to you soon bye bye